Good morning everybody and welcome to this week's Headmasters blog. It's Friday the 3rd of December and firstly I'd like to say a big thank you to Mr Mitchell who has stepped into the videography um, over the last couple of weeks whilst I was isolating with COVID-19. Uh, I must say it's great to be back. The school is looking incredibly Christmassy. We have a lovely decorative uh, Christmas tree up in the front office, up in study centre. I know that there's one or two in some of the classrooms, uh, my office included, um, and also uh, around and about the Peter Brooks building. So there's definitely a feel, as well as the frost in the air uh, first thing in the morning this week, that makes it feel actually that we are on the way uh, towards a very special time of year. And that was um, very much crystallised yesterday by our wonderful Christmas show, which was put on firstly by uh, reception up to year four, who put on a fantastic nativity show here in Langlands. Um, we were absolutely thrilled that we were able to risk assess it um, and ensure that uh, parents were able to sit at a safe social distance uh, for the children to perform and uh, showcase all of the immense amount of work they put in, uh, especially since half of term and for those who were not able to make it uh, it was live streamed um, and broadcast so that everybody at home wasn't missing out as well um, so that was absolutely wonderful and then after that after the interval we had year five and we had year six singing some carols and doing some uh, poems and readings um, and I thought that they absolutely smashed it they really sang with gusto and they read with great clarity um, it was wonderful to see and made me feel, uh, I have to say, firstly, very proud um, and secondly, uh, very Christmassy, which is not always uh, the way that I feel very early in December with how busy the term is. Uh, thank you very much also to Form 11W who presented Assembly on Wednesday. Uh, they uh, rounded up our term's value of respect, I think, in a very mature manner and gave a very sensible insight into how the boys and girls can manage their time um, and maintain a sensible school work-life balance at such uh, you know, a very busy time of the year. So well done to all of you and thank you to Mrs Wraith for putting that together. Um, in more disappointing news, um, it is with regret that uh, I have had to cancel our carol service which was scheduled up at Christchurch in the last week of term. This is one of our showpiece events of the year and it is not a decision that I have reached easily. However, uh, with an audience, a congregation likely to be in excess of over 500, uh, with uh, a mix of our year groups, our bubbles, our parents, our staff, our governors, um, I'm afraid that the church and I just did not feel that we were able to put on that, uh, uh, an event of that magnitude with the precautionary measures that we feel are in place given the rising cases of COVID, given the new Omicron variant, given the fact that everybody is probably being circumspect about wanting to protect their family Christmases, it just seems like it would have been a step too far to try and bring all of those different parts of the community together for a celebration um, with singing in a confined space at, at, at such a time. So we are instead going to uh, try and give you a recorded version of the boys and girls doing some singing and doing some performances and doing their readings. It'll be a recorded up in the church, so it will hopefully feel festive, um, but clearly it's, it's going to be a poor substitute for all coming together in person. But uh, I hope that you will agree that it is the right decision at this point in time. Now this morning we have got uh, our last open morning of the term. Again, this is uh, being conducted by appointment only at very safe and COVID friendly uh, distances. So we have over 30 families touring the school between 9 and 12 p.m. today. Uh, the school I think looks as good as it possibly can do on a miserly murky December day. Uh, the children of course will always be our best ambassadors and I'm sure that when they are armed with their their big smiles and looking smart and holding open doors, they will be, um, I'm, I'm sure, a uh, fantastic representative of the kind of ethos and family values that we look to instill here at Kingswood House. So I'm looking forward to a very good, productive morning ahead. On to mentions and dispatches this week. Well done to all of reception, says Mr. Clerk, for being superstars during the nativity this week, singing beautifully during practices. Well done from Madame Swift to reception for their French work, being very enthusiastic, they've learnt Frère Jacques. Well done to Katie Lowe from Mrs Lambert for her work this week. 
uh, Gregory Chung for great uh, English work from Miss Smith, Ryan Batchier for a great act of kindness. Someone in his class lost a very treasured toy, so Ryan gave him one of his own to replace it. So well done to you, Ryan. Um, do come and get a sticker from me, please. Well done to Jack Harvey, making a lot of extra effort. Mrs Lindley is really pleased to see you back in school and being really on the ball. Aurelia, well done to you for your creative writing in English from Madame Swift. To Thomas Reed and Conor Morley Alvarez, really good work in PSHE from Mr Barrett. Conor Morley Alvarez, another one, uh, artwork from Mrs Wraith. Hussein Khan, very positive this week, listening to instructions, working on organisation from Miss Black. Kishan, James Miller and Henry Rusko, all three regularly reading out in uh, enrichment, says Miss Black. Freya Kruger, well done for being very helpful and kind, says Miss Patel. Tristan Bush, volunteering to help uh, students in Fencing Club as well, well done to you. Uh, Mikey Sargis, always offering to help with tasks, says Miss Foster. Sam Carroll and Charlie Wren as well, a really good attitude in production rehearsals. Theo Moffat, working hard to be polite and courteous to everyone around the school, says Mr Lordy. Avenish Gunjal, Ian Shafiq, Connor Taz and Theo Jenkins, well done for always showing enthusiasm to answer questions in science. Uh, well done, says Madame Taylor, to everyone who completed their French writing in AT, in particular Bo Clark and Oli Dimmock, who had clearly prepared very thoroughly. Max Lopez and Max Russian have smashed their science, says Miss Patel. Well done, boys. Uh, and Mrs Lindley would like to say well done to all of you, 678, for their excellent attitude during mass assessments uh, last week. Into the seniors, Zachary and Fitzgibbon and Lewis Collett have shown great kindness and empathy, helping a year seven pupil to effectively organise their English book, says Mrs Bray. And Tarani has been working very hard with his science, says Miss Black. Oscar Davino showing really good work ethics, says Mr Hendry. And Ivan Tutai, well done for winning the handwriting competition uh, from Mr Hendry. Well done, 10H, for being so well stocked during an equipment check. And I know that this has been a, a pet hate of the teachers recently, that, te uh, that pupils have not been arriving with all of the relevant equipment. So well done to 10H for having everything that they needed for a, a, a spot check. James Giles has been very kind to a new student on their taste today, reports Miss Patel. Um, all of 10W have had a positive week, but a special mention. Welcome back to Archie Epron, who, uh, like me, had a, a bout of covid and is now back in school. We very much hope that you're feeling better, says Mrs Weston. Well done to Theo Spick and Jack Bettman for their display of Kingswood House values whilst they were away on a uh, theatre trip. Representing the school last week, says Mr Bailey. Ryan Lunneman, great uh, enthusiasm for away matches, representing Kingswood House values on the sports field, says Mrs Wraith. And uh, Madame Taylor would like to say well done to Jack Bettman, Rory Gibbs, Daniel Idris and Theo Spick for their constant sense of humour whilst working hard in lessons for GCSE French. They are a great pleasure to teach, she reports. So that wraps up um, an extremely busy, uh, but very start of festive week here at Kingswood House. Uh, over the course of the weekend, we will of course uh, move forward into what is gonna be the penultimate week of the term. I'd like to say a massive thank you to the Kingswood House Association who have very generously afforded each division um, some uh, money that they can put towards entertaining the boys and girls uh, in the last couple of days of term, um, yet to be decided exactly how that money is going to be spent. But certainly it will be put to good use and it will help all of the pupils here feel as though they are very much appreciated and valued. And uh, once again, thank you so much to the Kingswood House Association for your generosity in that respect. Uh, we look forward uh, to um, the Business and Enterprise Fair, Stride, Next week, we also have the senior lecture with uh, Tony Underwood, the former England and British Lion Rugby International, speaking to us. That's going to be very exciting. And then, of course, into the last couple of days, we have Christmas Jumper Day. Uh, and I know that our chairman, Richard Evans, is going to be joining us for one or two days towards the end of the term as well. So, as ever, plenty to keep us occupied, plenty to look forward to. I wish you a magical weekend. <laughs>